Khamis Fuju is what you might call a wounded veteran of the March of Return protests in Gaza. On a Friday last August, he was shot in the left leg. He became one of the growing number of protest amputees. I'm not disabled. Being disabled is a state of mind. I believe if my mind is disabled, I'm disabled. But if I lose a part of my body, I'm not disabled. Fuju is one of 20 people who will soon be fitted for a state-of-the-art prosthetic leg at the newly opened Hamad Hospital for rehabilitation and artificial limbs. There are already 40 people on the waiting list. The executive director of the hospital says there are 1,600 amputees living in Gaza. Since the March of Return protests began last year, 136 people, mostly young men, have lost their limbs. Patients can now get free treatment at the Qatari-funded hospital. It's the first public rehabilitation facility in the Gaza Strip. The aim is to provide more advanced prosthetics and treatment programs than are currently available. But given the land, sea and air blockade imposed by Israel and Egypt since 2007, there are many obstacles to overcome. The parts for the artificial limbs uh, sometimes also prohibited to, to enter Gaza Strip because of uh, some uh, political and some um, security issues. That's why it'll take time for the 100-bed hospital to be fully operational. But Fuju is hoping by the one-year anniversary of his amputation, he'll have a second leg again. My life will change after I get a prosthetic leg. I can walk up and down the stairs to my fourth floor apartment, drive a car, ride a motorcycle and go outside without crutches. Losing his leg hasn't deterred Fuju from attending the protests. Each Friday, he goes. He says all Palestinians must make sacrifices in their fight for a return to the land they once called home and for a life better than the one they have now, under siege. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera, the Gaza Strip.